I'm the best there is at what I do. At least the people still living after I'm done doing it say that. Everyone calls me Wolverine. I don't remember other names. I don't remember much of anything. Nervous meat? You smell nervous. Better than how you smell, that's for sure. Drop zone coming up. Let's do this. I didn't need the help. I was always better at this part than you. Yeah, the killing part? Day's gonna come, little brother. I won't always be there to help you. Don't worry, though. You're the same as me. You just don't know it yet. What don't I know? The tale of why the moon is lonely. No, why don't you enlighten me? The moon had a lover, Kwekuachu, but Trickster wanted the moon for himself. So he suggested Kwekuachu come to our world and pick her some wild roses. Never trust a guy named Trickster. Kwekuachu found out that once you leave the spirit world, you cannot return. So now he's trapped here, doomed to howl at the moon. Forever. Kukukuchu got screwed. Kwekuachu, the Wolverine. Kayla, run. Don't ask why, just run. But Logan... Go! You. Hey, little brother. Long time no see. Logan, be careful! Kayla, stay back!
this part than you. <laughs> now, where'd your old lady get to? Please, Kayla, stay with me. You're okay. You're okay. No, Logan, she isn't. Stryker. I came to warn you! You knew he was coming? Victor's appetites were becoming too public. We had to confine him. He felt betrayed, went AWOL, said he's coming for all of us. So you didn't come to warn me, you came to save your own ass. He killed Wade. You were supposed to be next. What's your plan, Captain? I'm gonna find him and kill him. You already tried. You can't beat him, Logan. You know you can't. But there is another option. I can give you the tools to defeat him. I can promise you two things. You will suffer more pain than any other man could endure. Your bones will be coated in adamantium. When we're done, you'll be able to withstand anything, even Creed. Where did you fight him, my Miss Box? is more important to me than his life. Don't even think about what the hell. Stand down, Captain. My brother, my responsibility. At my command. The operation was a success, but he can't be trusted. We have his DNA for Weapon 11. Terminate him. You even blink and you're dead. Your friends used too much cologne. Activating cloak now. Are you there, Logan? Can you hear me? Uh, who the hell are you? I'm Dr. Carol Frost, and I work for Dr. Cornelius. I think I can help you. What's happening to me? Ugh. As an insurance policy against you escaping, Stryker had you injected with a bioenzyme. It just activated and destroyed your regeneration and feral senses. I can repair the damage, but you must meet me in my lab north of here. Well, why should I trust you? Because if you don't, you'll die. Oh, so you're my guardian angel, huh? I simply want to help... Wait! You don't understand! I want to stop the atrocities they're committing here, and I'm starting with you! What's that do? It will deactivate the bioenzyme. Alright. Do it. You're safe now. If you go to the biomechanics lab, I'll repair your healing ability. Hey, Doc. This turns out to be a trap. I will hunt you down. Then I have nothing to worry about. I brought your things. There's not much time. Place your arms in that machine. Restraints engaged. Hey! Relax. This will reactivate your healing abilities. Open up! Open the door! Oh no, they're here already. I have to go, but I'll meet you at the neurochemistry lab. Good luck, Logan. No! Phase one complete. Phase two complete. Phase three complete. Process terminated. We killed the bastard! I can't believe it! He's dead! Yeah, we did it!
target is Command. down. Command, Weapon X is dead. I repeat, Weapon X is dead. <laughs> hey, somebody take my picture. They sure send me a copy. Shit, he's alive! Everyone, weapons up, let's go! Logan, we have to hurry. Soldiers are on their way. Sit here. This machine will repair your hypersenses. Oh, great. I have to leave, but the procedure will only take a few minutes. When it's done, you can exit through that door. Thanks for helping me, Doc. Logan, there's a little girl locked up in this sector who needs help, too. Take her with you. Come on, I don't have time to play babysitter. Please, Logan. She's scheduled for termination. You have to help her. Please, Logan. She needs you. Who are you? I'm Logan. Who are you? Anna. Well, you must be the one Dr. Frost was talking about. Dr. Carroll said she'd come for me. Yeah, let me see what I can do, kid. Oh, uh, Mr. Logan! Anna, I need you to close your eyes. And don't open them until I say so, all right? Okay, Mr. Logan. I think it's time you punks face someone your own size. I did what you said, Mr. Logan. I kept my eyes closed and never looked up. Oh, good job, kid. I'm proud of you. Now, why don't we get you out of here, huh? I can help. I saw which way to go when they brought me in. Hey, what the... What the... Did you just teleport us? I moved us, if that's what you mean. Think you could move us through that door? <sighs> Not right now. Moving us both makes me really tired. No problem. Just stay here while I go to that control room and open the door. I can get there by myself really quick! No, wait, I can... Look out! We have the girl, Colonel Stryker. Come on, please, Ken. Wake up. Can you hear me? What's going on? It's time to go. Okay, I'll try. No, wait. I'm sorry, Mr. Logan. Moving both of us is really hard. I need to rest. Don't worry about it, kid. Anna, you've got to escape. Move yourself as far away from this place as you can. You got it? I can't leave without you. Open fire! Oh, you gotta go! Anna, go! Oh. Take care of yourself, kid. Bye, Mr. Logan. Deploying Wendigo prototype. Let's go! 
Ever notice good people tend to die around you? You should stick with the bad or more your speed. Africa proved otherwise. The jungle? You still crying in your beer over what we did there? Wasn't something I'm likely to ever forget. You actually think you're the good guy here. Do me a favor. Take a message to your boss. What's your status? I'll mail you back pieces of him. You ran on me. You tried to kill me. Now where's Victor? Look, come back to base and I'll tell you everything. We'll take Victor down together. Wrong answer. I'm going after Victor Creed. Logan, if you go down this road, you're not going to like what you find. After I kill Victor, I'm coming for you. You wanted the animal, Colonel. Oh, you got it. Now, to find Creed, I need the help of an old friend who knows all about disappearing. John Wraith. Wraith? Wraith? Uh, John, if you're here, you left your front door... open. You have one new message. John, it's Raven. You gotta be kidding me. Damn it, John, where the hell are you? I think I have a line on Creed. How could you, darling? You're dead. At least you were supposed to be back then. Striker, is your operative dead? No one could have survived that explosion. Logan has a way of surviving anything, Agent Darkholm. Emitter 1 is down. All right, Logan, double back to the Temple Courtyard to await further instructions. Emitter 2 is down. Excellent. Wraith, I'm already scanning. It's strong in this town, but I still can't get a fix. Nord, move on the third emitter. Nord? Nord, sit rep. Sir, I hate to say this, but I lost Raven Dark Home signal too. Team, we have a situation. Logan, your 
closest to Nord's last known position. Go find him. Yes, sir. And Logan, if you see Raven Darkholm, consider her compromised. John, it's Raven. Damn it, John, where the hell are you? I think I have a line on Creed. That job I got with Kelly is good for some things. He's doing oversight on a black budget program named <laughs> Wide Awake. What's this have to do with Creed? Well, guess who took a job with them? I don't know what kind of favor you owe that's worth messing with a rabies case like Creed. But if you want to find him, Wide Awake's the best place to start. The main facility is located in the southwest. <laughs> Oh, my, my, what, uh, how? Excuse me, do you have level five clearance? Uh, yes, uh, of course, uh, but... Uh... Scan verified. Welcome, Dr. Lathrop. Thanks, Doc. Logan. You smell pretty good. For a corpse. After what happened in Africa, being dead was the best way of staying alive. What exactly did happen, darling? Team, we have a situation. Logan, you're closest to Nord's last known position. Go find him. Yes, sir. And Logan, if you see Raven Darkholm, consider her... Compromised. You'd have an easier time sneaking up on me, darling, if I didn't already know your scent. Like I was saying, you're supposed to be dead. I'm a lot of things. Things that need to remain secret. You're a mutant? <laughs> I should have known. What are you doing here, Logan? I heard your phone message to Wraith. I came here looking for Victor Creed. So this is all your fault. Wraith came here looking for Creed too. He got caught. Yeah. And now you're here looking for Wraith. Small world. But why? Here's a comm unit so we can keep in contact. We'll cover more ground if we split up. You gonna answer my question? Help me find Wraith? And I'll tell you everything you want to know. Find a way to open those doors while I see if I can go hack into their mainframe. All right, I'll help you. But then I'm going after Creed. I wouldn't have it any other way. Tell me, a unit. Did that metal run through your entire body? Why don't you come down here and find out? All mutants seem to labor under the impression that they're special. Better than humans. Homo superior. Bah! I know the truth. You're freaks of nature. Aberrations. You're a cancer that must be eradicated before you kill off humanity. Bob, you picked a real bad day to give me this speech. Are you threatening me, mutant? Security will be here soon enough. But in the meantime, let me show you how I intend on ridding the Earth of your kind. Get back, freak! You're nothing more than an animal that should be terminated! Then what are you waiting for? Shoot me!
they built it. What did they build? A weapon designed to detect and terminate mutants. This is the Mark I Sentinel. It's big. I'll give him that. Logan, we're getting close. Wraith should be up ahead, beyond that nearby door. Now, how do I know I can trust you, darling? You obviously don't remember Africa too well. Sir, I found Nord. And Darkholm? Yep, found her too. And she's got a gun to your boy's head. Stand down, Colonel. We don't have time for this. Eliminate her, Logan. Logan, do you realize Stryker's asking you to commit a war crime? Ms. Darkholm is no longer entitled to the protection of the United States government. Eliminate her. Damn it, Logan. Do you even know what your mission is here? Logan, she's interfering with a mission-critical aspect of this operation. Yeah, I'm flagging the play on wholesale murder. Take her out, Captain. That's an order. <laughs> Sir, she's down. I'm disappointed, Logan. Wraith, tie her up. Logan, there's one more emitter to take down. Think you can handle that? Sir? Yes, sir. The last emitter's down. Dylan's popped up straight on my scanner, sending the coordinate. So when are you gonna tell me why you're still breathing? You know the deal, Logan. First we find Wraith, then I'll tell you everything. It's just through those doors. I'll take care of this one. Come on, I would have figured a way in. You always knew how to make an entrance. Thanks. I was talking to her. She's rescuing you. You know she's still alive. All right, who do I have to gut to get some explanations here? No one. I promised you answers and I make good on my promises. I'm guessing you remember Africa, and the situation we find ourselves in with Raven here. Logan, move on those coordinates. Wraith, dispatch Ms. Darkholm with prejudice. Sir? We can't risk the mission. Take her out. Lieutenant? Double tap to the chest, sir. Subject is dead. I've never had a problem killing the enemy, but I draw the line at murder. There's nothing sexier than a man with a conscience. Africa was the beginning of the end. I quit a couple months later. I couldn't take rounding up mutants. Rounding them up? Why? Didn't stay around long enough to find out. Creed was the only one on the team that didn't seem to mind. Hell, he enjoyed that it. That bastard. Where were the mutants sent? Alkali Lake. This place and somewhere called the island. All right, that must be where I'll find Creed. Nord mentioned something about an island. Does that mean anything to you? Nope, but maybe Dukes knows. He and Nord used to be tight. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go pay Dukes a visit. If we can get to the roof, we can take a chopper off this rock. I could teleport Raven me up top. 
But you're gonna have to get there on your own, Logan. Don't sweat it. Logan, you and Wraith can go after Creed, but you have to tell me where Alkali Lake is. I want to pay that mutant prison a visit. Will do. You be careful, Miss Darkholm. That's my son you're carrying in there. See you up top. What you think of the name, Kurt? Get the hell out of here. Roger that. Good luck, buddy. Thanks. I'm gonna need it. Crash closer to town. Okay, Logan. I found Dukes for you. You're never gonna believe where Dukes hangs out these days. Or how big he's gotten. Hey, Dukes. Wow. It's been a long time. About 10 or 12 uh, hundred pounds ago. Maybe it's time to give the pork rinds a rest. So you've upgraded since Africa. Big deal. Speaking of big, you put on a little weight since Africa. Bob, I need to know where Stryker's Island is. And you're gonna tell me. Did you call me Blob? Arr! 
So, Bob, tell me, what's this island? It's where Stryker takes mutants after Victor's caught them. It's like a supermax prison for the most powerful mutants. Rumor is Stryker does experiments on them there. I heard he was taking their powers, trying to combine them somehow. Trying to combine them? They killed her so I'd let them put adamantium in me. They killed her for a goddamn experiment. Now where is it? Don't know. Stryker kept it secret. But I heard a prisoner named Remy LeBeau escaped. Guards called him Gambit because he kept taking their money in poker. Ugh. Now he's doing the same to tourists in New Orleans. <laughs> but he's not gonna tell you a thing. Oh, he's gonna talk, all right. <laughs> Nice looking place. Beg you'll take care of that in a hurry. What, I get in fights with everybody? Let me put it this way. I'll go cover the back in case he rabbits. You Remy LeBeau? I owe you money. No. Then Remy LeBeau I am. So what brings you to our fair city, sir? Victor Creed. He's the man I'm gonna kill. Well, too bad for Mr. Creed, then, eh? Works with a man named Stryker on his island. I need to know where it is. Mighty nice dog tags you got on. What? Look a lot like the ones the men who took me wore. Uh, wait, wait, I'm not... Two years I rotted in that hellhole. I ain't going back. Are you crazy? Where'd you go? Whew. You stuck real good, mon frere. Here, let me give you a reason to get unstuck. Au revoir. <laughs> <laughs> Share. Show our friend here a good time. Au revoir. <laughs> All right, darling. Let's do this. Won't give up yet, huh, mon frere? I'm just getting started. Whoa! Why'd you save me? You're no good to me, Dad. I need info on the island. Why? Because I'm looking to find Creed and Stryker and end them. A lot of men tried that, and a lot of men died. Well, I got an edge. That you do, mon frere. You really gonna kill them? They must have wronged you pretty bad. It's a long story. Good. It's a long trip to the island. You can tell me on the way. Africa wasn't supposed to be like this. It wasn't supposed to be the last mission. Okay, team. We need to get that village. Wraith scan shows three possible paths. Copy that. Dukes, you got path B. I'm reading lots of bioscans. Expect resistance. Bioscans, huh? We'll bring it on. I'm ready for whatever they've got. Creed and Wilson, you got path A. It's mostly just jungle. It's hunting season. Logan, the village is just north of your position. Secure the area and find a way into the village. Roger that. Logan out. Move fast, men. We need to coordinate the attack on the village. I need everyone in position. Striker out. Sir, this is Logan. Area secure. Heading to the village now. Good job. Rendezvous with the team outside the village ASAP. Roger that. Logan out.
Five hostiles visible from this side. Easy. Low-level mercs. No training. Is Creed in position? You ready, Victor? Oh, yeah. It's hunting season. Now we go in easy, Victor, get me? The Wraith, shut him down. <laughs> 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 rock isn't tin. Ask him where this rock came from. He says that rock is special. He says it came from the sky. He's telling the truth. Shut it, Logan. You don't speak the language. No, but I can smell a lie. It's a meteor fragment. Tell him that rock is more important to me than his life. Can't say I didn't try to be nice. Don't even think about it. What the hell are you doing? Not be a part of this. I didn't sign up for this. Yes, you did. Back off, Wade. My brother, my responsibility. And my command. Before I gut you, I want to know why. Logan, welcome back to the war. We needed your powers for the pool. The mutant killer. The dead pool. <laughs> it was surprising how easy you were to trick. Who are you? Raven? She's real, old friend. It's her. Tell him about the day you died. They gave me a syringe full of hydrochlorothiazide. Reduces the heartbeat to almost zero. Breathing virtually stops. You flatline for six minutes. Kayla's a credit to your race, Logan. She's got the mutant gift of telehypnosis. The ability to influence people through physical contact. It was never real. It was real for me. I don't want to terminate you, Logan. There is another option. You can live knowing the woman you love didn't care about you, or... Or what? We erase your memory. All of it. That story you told me, about the guy who goes to get flowers for the moon. I had it backwards. I thought you were the moon and I was your Wolverine. But you're the trickster, aren't you? And I'm just the fool that got played. No, Logan. Let's do this. Every memory you ever had will evaporate like it never happened. Good. What if this doesn't work? An adamantium bullet to the brain will erase every memory. Colonel, my sister, please don't do this! I've done everything you've asked! You said you'd let her go! I'm gonna end you. Come on. I heal up just like you. Do you even know how to kill me? I'm gonna cut your goddamn head off to start. See if that works. <laughs> you know why I piss you off so much? 
Because at heart, I'm exactly what you are. An animal. Go ahead. Finish it. No, Logan! You're not an animal! And I didn't trick you into loving me! Even when I wasn't near you, you loved me. You're alive because of her. I'm sorry. Stryker's holding my sister prisoner. He was going to kill her if I didn't do as he said. Wait, is that you? Kayla, go save your sister. I'll take care of this. I used to be more chatty than this. I guess you're not the merc with the mouth anymore. If that's how you want to play it. Surprises up. Supposed to impress me? So are you gonna 
can't keep me here until the tower collapses and kills us both? The thought occurred to me. Why didn't you kill me, Jimmy? The real reason. As much as I hate to admit it, we're brothers. Yeah, we are. And while you try to hide it, we're both animals. I am nothing like you. So get used to it. I've got to find Kayla. You know what, pal? I'm always gonna be around to remind you exactly what you are. talk about this at home. Men like us don't get to go home. Maybe you should turn that gun on yourself. <sighs> Just leave. Head south. Walk till your feet bleed. <laughs> you always wanted to forget what you did. But if you do ever remember me, remember, I always loved you. a hard road since way back then. Sometimes I wish I could forget all the years since, too. So many dead. So much lost. But I still have work to do. I suppose I should thank you. When you destroyed my Sentinel, you forced me to rethink my assumptions about robotics and prosthetics. The hell are you talking about, Bub? I'd heard you took an adamantium round through your thick skull. Guess you don't remember. Pity. I plan on doing some very bad things to you. So much better if you remembered why. Guards! Guards! <laughs> Sure as hell didn't work out like we planned, but that doesn't mean giving up. This world may be broken, but I've got just the tools to fix it.
forward guns going. Why aren't those rear batteries firing? Somebody get General Wilson on the horn! Colonel Fury. Doom. I'll have your head for this. I have little time for your petty threats, Colonel. Surrender your ship now, or I shall destroy it. Not on my watch. This is a priority alert to all metahumans. UNN Alpha requests immediate assistance. Thor, take care of those gunships. Spider-Man, draw them towards the stern. Sure thing. I just love being a target. Wolverine, you do it, Boy Scout. I don't take orders from you. Ferry to Staten Island. some help. <laughs> that dude scares me. <laughs> Behold, my tribute to the All Father. The day of reckoning has arrived! Long have I been denied my rightful place. But now, I have the power to take it! <laughs> Am 
Am I dead? Why does heaven smell like a wet dog? Oh, wait. Never mind. I am Uwatu, the Watcher. I prevented your deaths, for you are needed to save this universe. Listen closely, mortals. Doctor Doom's unrestrained use of Odin's power will soon tear the fabric of reality beyond repair. I have broken my sacred vow to only observe so that I may give you this one chance to save your world. Who can stand against the power of Odin? Even the gods of mighty Asgard have fallen. Doom's power seems unlimited, but you must know a way to stop him. Yes, there is a chance, but it will be difficult. First, you must obtain the Makran Crystal, a Shi'ar gem of fantastic power. Next, you must acquire another object of great power, and it will take all your strength and skill. You must face the World Eater known as Galactus. Much has transpired since you were last on Earth. Mankind did its best to defend itself against doom. But even their greatest weapons were as nothing before Doom's power. The heroes of your world also tried to stop Doom and paid the ultimate price. Thank your old man for me, Thor. Odin did one hell of a job reversing the damage Doom did to Earth. Aye, but I believe he is presently occupied with Doom and my brother Loki. Let's hope he's teaching them new kinds of pain. The world owes you a debt of gratitude it can never repay. But, with the danger past, our task force must be disbanded. You're a punk, Fury. Listen, fellas. I don't care if you like me, but if a threat like this comes again, can S.H.I.E.L.D. count on your help? The world can count on us, sir.
such insignificant creatures. They dare steal from Galactus. For that, I will destroy their planet. any Latvarian air support bothering us on our way to Castle Doom now. We'll take it on foot and bring in Bravo Team once we hit checkpoint three. On foot? You're kidding, right? Do you have any idea how little arch support I get in this outfit? What a sock in it, Webhead. How socks make it worse to it. All right, ladies. Let's move. Now! Bravo Team, come in. Come in. Bravo, do you copy? <laughs> Nothing new to me so far, but Black Ops aren't really SOP for you boys, are they? How'd Fury get you? Same way he got you two, I expect. Everyone owes that old warhorse favors, and he always calls them in sooner or later. Could be much worse than Coming this. Out. Yeah, but don't you guys wonder, uh, I mean, invading a foreign country? Like we're soldiers of fortune or something? I've known Nick Fury a very long time, Spider-Man. We wouldn't be doing this without a good reason. Oh. Bringing your little hands over the poor Latvarians, huh? You think they do the same for you? Colonel Fury, what do you have for us? Mr. President, one of our ongoing investigations into supervillains recently had a major break. We've always been aware that many of these criminals who run around in high-tech armor were getting their materials from an underground figure, Phineas Mason, a.k.a. the Tinkerer. But what we didn't realize until recently is that the Tinkerer himself is being supported by someone outside the country. Specifically, Lucia von Bartis, the elected Prime Minister of Latveria. As you know, the link to a foreign power makes this, by definition, international terrorism. The evidence is right here, sir. We're under attack. Trust me, they've earned what's coming to them. Go again. Hey, Fury, where's that Bravo team you've been trying to reach? Ah, communication still jammed. Go round them up. And you just volunteered. What? And leave all the fun to you girls? Bite me, Fury. No time to argue, Shorty. Take Wes with you. Locate Bravo team and find another way into that castle. Ah, you heard the man, Webhead. Let's move. Yeah, yeah. Sheesh. Respect. <laughs>
Manhattan continues to reel after tonight's devastating terror attack. Inside sources are indicating that the terrorists may have been from Latveria. Furthermore, they claim last night's attack was in direct retaliation for a secret, unsanctioned shield assault on Castle Doom exactly one year ago. Shield director Nicholas Fury, now wanted for questioning in connection with these claims, has disappeared. In his absence, Commander Maria Hill has been named acting director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Superheroes potentially linked to the Latvarian mission have refused to comment, leaving the rest of us to wonder why this horrible tragedy had to happen. You hear what they're saying about that mission in Latveria? Cover me shot, Steve! I have suspected you weren't sent! You have suspected? Nice of you to say so at the time. Given a choice between Fury and the government, who are you gonna trust? Hmm. Tough call. That's why I didn't even ask you to make it. So, thanks to you, all this is on our hands. No, not on yours. The evidence is right here, sir. We're under attack. Colonel Fury, since Dr. Doom's death, Lucia von Bardas has bent over backwards to mend the ties between America and Latveria. We got her elected. This year alone, we lent her country $72 million in aid. Yes, sir. And it hurts to imagine what she's done with that money, knowing what we now know. Thank you, Colonel. I have a recommended response scenario for the city. That won't be necessary. Sir, if I may, this situation is sure to escalate. I can... We have a pleasant relationship with Lucia. We'll handle things. Diplomatically. I kept you in the dark so that if something like this ever happened, your consciences would be clear. It's on me, and I'm taking the fall for this one. You got that right. Damn it, Stark. You think these things grow on trees? I'm sure you've got plenty of backups, old man. You always do. Enjoy your exile, Fury. Wherever you are. We'll just stay here and keep picking up the pieces. So, to answer your question, Mr. Senator, in spite of these recent events, I don't believe forcing superheroes to register with the government is the answer. This law would split the hero community right down the middle, with consequences I'm not sure any of us want to ponder. Is that really your best shot? Sneaking around doesn't become you, Steve. Maybe I'll need the practice. Maybe we all will. Don't be so melodramatic. This whole thing would affect you least of all. You're already deputized. You almost sound like you agree with them. This registration act would tear down everything we've done. Destroy a century-old tradition of... I'm trying to save it, Steve. As much of it as I can, anyway. Don't you see where this is headed? All it's going to take is one more slip-up by anyone in a cape, and we'll be lucky if registration is the worst they do. They could just turn us all into criminals, hunt us all down. No, they won't, Tony. Not in my country. Now return to our special live episode of The New Warriors, coming to you straight from Stamford, Connecticut where the warriors have just been spotted by their super-villain quarry. Looks like it's on. I've got cold heart, you guys. Hey, somebody snag Nitro. He's rabbiting. Don't worry, Speedball. I'm on it. On your feet, Nitro. And don't bother trying any of your stupid exploding tricks. Oh, baby, don't you even know? <laughs> You're playing with the big boys now. Reports now coming in from Stamford, Connecticut, indicate a massive explosion in a residential neighborhood. Just over 12 hours ago now, and preliminary casualties are said to be over 600. 
In Washington, rumblings on whether superhero reform should be brought to the Following table. Following last week's devastating explosion, Congress has rushed through passage of the Superhuman Registration Act, with the president expected to sign it. This is just completely insane, Hill. I won't do it. I'm sorry, was it not clear I was giving you an order? You're asking me to arrest people who risk their lives for this country every day. No, I'm ordering you to obey the will of the American people, Captain. Either you help us bring them in, or we'll bring you in. Weapons down, gentlemen. Or I... Frank Darts, now! disagrees with the act suddenly has a leader. Maybe we should hold off until... That won't be necessary, Mr. President. Registration can go forward as planned. We'll take care of Captain America. How many trapped workers did the radio say? Over 300. But something's weird. I'm not getting anything over my info net. No panic signals, nothing. What's wrong, Cable? Cloak, get us out of here! It's a trap! Of course it's a trap. How else were we gonna get you all in one place? Skybird 1, is the area fully cordoned? Roger, perimeter sealed. No one's leaving the zone without our say-so. Copy that. Stand by. Stand by? You and S.H.I.E.L.D. going soft, Tony? We didn't come here to arrest you, Cap. I talked S.H.I.E.L.D. into offering all of you a chance at amnesty. You mean surrender? Thanks, but, uh, I think I'd rather take my chances. Cap, please. You know how hard I tried to fight this. But that was before Stamford. The public doesn't want secret identities anymore. Registration is the only way to make them feel safe when we're around. Just give me a chance to tell you our plans for my 21st century overhaul. You've got five minutes. That's all I'll need. What the hell? Sales at this rate. Are those the conduits we saw in the schematics? Yeah, the only exposed power cables for both the main systems and the backup. 
Those get cut, and all the cells open up, including Shield's remote control super criminals. You got it. But the release prisoners might give Shield more than they can handle, at least for a few minutes. It could help cover our escape. until you busted in here and released them all. Gentlemen, I suggest we focus on getting our people out of here alive. You made it. Was Fury behind you? Hmm. Closed off from the other side. What do you think it means? Did Fury detonate? Step to one side, Captain. You and your friends here are under arrest. For Pete's sake, Hill, these people need medical attention. He's right. Lower your weapons and call in the medics. No, Stark. I'm under direct orders from the President. The SRA dictates that these unregistered... We're giving everyone temporary amnesty on my authority. At least until we figure out what just happened. If you have a problem with that, Commander Hill, you're going to have to take it up with all of us. Get the medics down here. So many lives apparently lost, and yet lost so that many more lives might be saved. We may not know the true fate of Nicholas Fury, but we do know he showed his willingness to sacrifice himself on behalf of us all. For him, and for the rest of the missing and presumed deceased, we ask Almighty God to watch over their souls. Amen.